Welcome guys to my FL Studio video. Today I'm going to talk about um, unlocking editions and a bit more stuff. So this is to address many of the questions that I've been receiving lately on my channel. And uh, it also serves as a follow-up to a previous video that I published last month, which talked about how to unlock FL Studio by using your rec key and also your image line accounts credentials. All right, so before I proceed, um, if you've not subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so and make sure you enable your notifications because I'm going to be having some free project files on this channel, free FLPs. So if you don't want to miss out on this, please go ahead and subscribe. Okay, so one of the questions that I receive a lot these days is um, what are the FL Studio editions available? So FL Studio is one product and then uh, it has different editions. So the reason why it has different editions is because each edition comes with a set of features and um, functionalities. So they have the 3D edition, which is like the starting edition, uh, the producer edition, signature edition, and then all plugins bundle edition. So the 3D is more like people who just want to make, uh, you know, quick sounds, quick tracks. Uh, producer is more like uh, those who want to um, uh, make more advanced tracks and then uh, you can record uh, have the ability to you know have like MIDI stuff and all that uh, signature edition is more like those who want to have tracks record and uh, have even more plugins to play around with and uh, the power users would want to go for the R plugins bundle edition because it has everything that image line uh, have you know as um, uh, stock plugins or whatever features that FL Studio can have, this comes with all plugins bundled edition. So um, how much does FL Studio cost? A lot of people ask me and some people freak out, you know, when they know that they, there is an 899 USD costs associated with the product. The thing is, uh, the 899 USD is the highest editions price. That is the all plugins bundled edition. So you have like from Maximus, um, Harmor, um, GMS, all the compression plugins, EQ, and everything that you can uh, imagine for FL Studio, uh, you can get all of this for 899 USD. But then the starting price is 99 USD. And a lot of people actually um, are kind of stuck at that level, like the 3D edition or the producer edition, because they don't use the full um, capabilities, you know, they don't take full advantage of FL Studio. So what they only need is the 99 or 199. But then um, if you want to be advanced, you know, maybe you have more knowledge and you think like maybe you want to move to the next level, then you can get the 299 USD. But um, you can get the 99 USD, all right? Be familiar with it and then upgrade yourself to uh, 199, then upgrade again later on to 299 or whatever. The thing is uh, once you get uh, a certain edition, you have access to the free lifetime updates. So even though um, FL Studio makes releases every two years or whatever, you're still going to have access to all of that. So you can just take your time and upgrade yourself uh, whenever you want. Now people are kind of confused, you know, when they know that, uh, wait, there are four editions. Some ask themselves, why is there an $800 difference between the editions, like the 3D edition and the R plugins bundle edition? Before you go ahead, all right, and you use your Visa card or whatever to make a payment, I recommend you go through these four steps. First of all, you need to understand or be fully aware of what is it that you want to produce. Is it some electro tracks? Is it some um, ambient tracks? Is it like rock? Or maybe it's just you recording yourself on a mic playing the guitar and you just want to do a bit of mixing and mastering here and there. So you need to understand exactly what you want to do. Secondly, you need to research what FL Studio plugins and features you need to produce the tracks that you're after. So for instance, um, if you go on YouTube and you see someone uh, composing a track or showcasing the work that they've done, you can go ahead and you know, pause the video a few times and check which plugins they use. And then uh, you can research like uh, which edition of FL Studio does this plugin come with. Now, a lot of people use um, premium plugins, external plugins, and they are not stock plugins like uh, Silent One, for instance, or Nexus. A lot of people use this for EDM tracks and, um, you know, some advanced electro or future bass and everything. 
But the thing is you have to spend again on these uh, VST plugins. So I recommend you always try to stay on the uh, on the free side, not the illegal side, all right? The free side, I'm talking about the stock plugins. So the next thing is uh, assessing your current abilities with FL Studio. I always recommend that people get the FL Studio demo first before going ahead and making a purchase. The reason for that is um, you need to make sure that you fully understand how FL Studio works and um, this is going to let you um, assess or um, estimate what you exactly need. Okay, yeah, you can't really know like um, maybe you might want to record yourself for instance but then you have issues with uh, voice recording and all of that. So having a demo first, assessing your, your current skills with FL Studio uh, can help you to determine the edition that you need to to purchase first and then uh, you need to estimate your progress rates you might be a beginner but you still want to um, get for instance the signature bundle uh, sorry the signature edition which is uh, 299 USD if you have a lot of time on your hands and uh, you're a fast learner so maybe um, you know you you feel like in five or six months you should be able to master FL Studio uh, like an expert then in this case yeah it makes sense to spend 299 usd at once because the thing is when you get one edition and then you upgrade yourself to the next edition um you're adding a a fee around 10 usd i think and this is to cover some administrative costs from image lines and so if you can get um the the higher edition one time uh then go for it but then if you know that it's just going to be a waste then it's better to start slow um, maybe monetize your work and then you go ahead and upgrade yourself. Now this is probably the uh, question that I get the most on my channel. How can I unlock the full FL Studio version for free? Um, basically some think that the moment you download the demo and you create an ImageLine account, you're going to be able to use a red key or your ImageLine account credentials to unlock FL Studio. Unfortunately, that is wrong. Um, you need to have an ImageLine account, yes, but then you need, first of all, to buy an FL Studio Edition to get a valid license. Um, once you purchase your edition and you log into your account, you're going to have access to a red key which you can install or run on your, on your system to unlock the full version of FL Studio. Or you can also use your credentials, but then uh, I've demonstrated these two steps in a previous video. So I recommend you check on my channel that tutorial and you follow all the steps, all right? Uh, for Box users, I also have a video on my channel showing you how to register your serial codes online first. Now I just want to take you to some um, relevant pages on the ImageLine website, and this is the feature comparison page that gives you all the details on the different editions. So I'm logged in right now, so I have this. I own this right here for the signature uh, the signature edition. That's the one that I purchased. But um, you can see the 99 USD here, 199, 899 for this edition. And um, well, you need to make sure obviously that you meet the system requirements. But then they have a short, uh, like a summary of what each edition uh, helps you to achieve. And this has like basic melody and loops creation for 30. Uh, full song creation and mic recording. So like indie artists, I'm sure would want to go with the producer edition. Um, those who want to be like, you know, advanced stuff and uh, remix for um, new tracks, you know, coming out like 2018 and stuff, will need the signature uh, edition most of the times. And then um, for power users, again, well, you need everything. So you can just scroll down right here. And uh, if a circle is uh, is empty, it's white. This means that the uh, the feature in question is not included in the edition. If it's black, it means it's included. So the 3D edition itself is quite robust because you have access to automation clips, parsing clips. All right, you have MIDI support. Um, you have the piano roll step sequencer. Um, you have uh, the uh, the time stretching. All right, that's available as well. Um, speaking of uh, like manipulation and uh, generators, you have FL keys. I have a tutorial, by the way, on FL keys, uh, which shows you how to have some professional piano sounds. Um, you can also uh, scroll down, you know, and you will see a bit more. 3X OSC is a superb uh, VSC that you need to learn how to use. It helps you to make different kinds of synths 
for electro ambient orchestral tracks whatever uh, you also have uh, the drum pad 3d kick um, you know a kind of a lot a mini synth by the way is uh, for FL studio mobile so you know you can do your work and then uh, kind of um, move it to the mobile application and all of that um, so you just scroll down and look at everything now I talked about uh, making the decision to purchase the right FL studio uh, edition so there is this right here all right there's this button if you click on this um, you're gonna get a page a troubleshooter that is going to help you determine which version you need to go for so before that they're going to ask you some questions like this one do you require the piano roll and automation or for instance do you need to be able to record so you uh, you click yes or no or this one for instance okay this is uh, the uh, system requirements all right make sure you you meet them get the demo and determine for yourself but back to this one so you just need to um, uh, click to provide your answers and then it's going to return an estimate like a suggestion rather or like it's going to show you what it things that you need to purchase and then uh, it also provides the upgrading upgrade prices right here so I think that's a pretty good tool okay you can provide your, your feedback if you think it's working or not but I think that's pretty cool to make sure that you don't spend on the wrong edition all right you always want to make sure that you save your money and then you you do with what you have okay so again I need to state that this video is not for those who are looking for cracks or illegal ways to get a full version of FL Studio I'm rather targeting those who have paid license or those who are ready to purchase the uh, the products okay uh, no piracy on this channel no cracks uh, whatever it's just legal stuff so uh, if you enjoyed this video please subscribe like it and uh, make sure you turn on your notifications for future tutorials and everything I'll catch you next time bye